and welcome to this first video log from Numis Ikra this year. Uh, I'm Agnes and I am a painter and a part of this creative um, collab thing called Numis Ikra. Um, in this video I am going to tell you about how my year or our year started and also I'm going to tell you a bit about how far I am with my next series of paintings and um, a bit of how the process of finding my theme and my um, color schemes and all that has been what kind of journey I have been on. <laughs> um, this year started out a bit special because uh, we went to the mountains um, over New Year's and up there I started out having a cold. So when we came home we all tested for the COVID thing and turns out the that most of my family actually came up positive. So we went into isolation uh, for 10 days. And uh, today is the last day of isolation. Uh, no, it's actually the first day where I am able to go out. So yay. <laughs> uh, but um, because we didn't actually feel so so extremely sick. I was like very tired and uh, sometimes my energy level was like not existing. But um, either way, I actually had a lot of time to think and to work a bit because I am so lucky that I have my studio and my living space the same place. So. I was able to work uh, in the moments where I actually had energy and um, that has been so helpful to me and now I am 100% sure of uh, in which direction my series is going. Um, if you have been following me or Numazika for a while, you will know that I have been on the way with this uh, new series for a while, like since November. And um, it has changed a lot on the way. I have um, had several different uh, themes that I have been working on and I haven't really been sure. Um, <laughs> I've had this, oh, this is good and this is great, but I have not been like, oh, Oh, this is exactly what I want so um, I will now tell you a bit about this process because this is always a, the kind of process that I'm going through uh, before deciding on uh, my next project so um, this series started out after my Deconfinement series and I had the idea that I wanted to do something with solitude and um, that is because to me it's very important to have a place where I can uh, find solitude and where I can be alone and rest and like just be me and um, this was um, to me this place is in the mountains and um, therefore I started out doing these uh, mountain-like uh, landscapes and uh, I like those <laughs> but it was not like not really uh, the thing that I did I did a lot of those uh, especially like small ones and I got very good feedback but nevertheless I am <laughs> who I am and uh, this was not the thing that I wanted so I um, I know that this solitude uh, 
thing that I want to be me thing is going to be a part of my series, but still I needed more than this. Um, then I came to think of something and um, I have been doing a series not, it's like two years ago <clears throat> or yeah, two, two years ago. I did a series of uh, paintings with insects and uh, it was called a tribute to all the small things in life and uh, it was a bit about all of these th small things that you don't think about um, that actually has a big importance in your life and um, that made me think of all the moments in my life that really are really really important but that I have forgotten uh, and why have I forgotten all these moments? Is it because I'm too busy or do I have like another reason to forget all of these these things? Because I actually would like to remember them. Like, um, for instance, shh. <laughs> for instance, my uh, the upbringing of my kids. Uh, I have a very I have like memories of that, but there are a lot of those that I can't remember. And why is that? Uh, actually, it makes me quite sad that <laughs> I'm not able to remember the uh, my kids when they were younger. But uh, yeah, and therefore I wanted to like work with this theme and find out why is it and Perhaps that would make me able to remember again. So I did, did these uh, sketches in this style here. It's still like this uh, landscape, abstracted landscape. And then uh, the leaves uh, as a symbol of these uh, memories that we have that actually disappears like the leaves in fall so um, that was my next idea <laughs> and um, I was like yeah I like this and <laughs> it's great and everything uh, but to me this design or this composition uh, was a bit too simple and I felt okay I need more than this I need I thought I needed simplicity, but <laughs> I don't. I need, I need color, I need life, I need, yeah, that. So um, I was thinking and thinking and thinking. And then in December, uh, in the mountains where I really love to be, I were sketching a bit. And um, when I sketch, it's not like sketching, sketching. <laughs> um, normally I do my sketches like these I just showed you, like big pieces, uh, because small things doesn't work for me. So um, when I am on holiday and I sketch, I use my little book and uh, I don't have a lot of space in here. <laughs> um, so it's mostly like um, ideas for colors or one shape or something. So I did these um, small color studies and I were like, okay, this is exactly the kind of colors that I want in my next series. So um, there I knew my colors, they were like, uh, they had to be, I have here, I have uh, seven different colors. I have like a off white color that is um, going through all of the paintings. And then I have uh, seven, no, six other colors. And I 
wanted to have a very strong and very powerful, um, like, what is it called? A uh, powerful expression <laughs> in my paintings. So um, I have chosen like cools and warms and uh, I also use uh, colors like in very different, they are not like close together. So what you call it, yeah, you see. <laughs> And uh, this is the direction that I want to go in. And um, then I came home and I was like, okay, I love these like abstracted landscapes, but I don't like the leaf thing. And it needs a bit more. So I tried out uh, this idea with the, with the, abstracted landscape and a lot of colors and then I knew okay now I have my composition I have the design in place I know exactly what I want and um, because I've had all of this time to think and because I think because all of my kids have been together with me during the holidays um, I all of a sudden knew exactly what it is that I need to do and um, this series is going to be a very very personal one and it's going to tell my story um, and it's going to tell a story about um, psychological abuse and it's going to tell a story about a person, me, <laughs> that is growing and is going to be uh, a difficult thing to do, but it is a necessary thing for me to do. So, uh, yeah, I will tell you um, some more about the idea behind this series and uh, exactly what is going to be in this and uh, yeah that is my next series and uh, the name of this thing is going to be the day I became a butterfly.